Hey everybody, Dave here. Welcome back to another video and today is special. We got Judith here and she has a Ford Transit XLT Connect that she's been traveling out of and we are here in O'Neill Regional Park. Thank goodness some sun came out. It's gorgeous today. And Judith, uh, what brings you to O'Neill? The location, actually, it's it's close to uh, the work I'm doing and family and friends. Also, I love it. It's beautiful, and also it's fifteen dollars a night for senior citizens. So, that's yes, <laughs> an incredible deal. And let's say you get two cars in here, it's only five dollars more for another car. So twenty bucks for two people, ten bucks a night. There's hot showers, bathrooms, and, and they're very clean. Yeah, very clean. Yeah, yeah. I, I love this place. Well. Can you show us around your your uh, your vehicle and home and? Uh... Oh sure. You know, that's what I've really learned on this 11 year process. It started out out of um, financial destruction, but then it turned into lifestyle and a choice of living rather than working. You know, made sure I had some of the little things that uh, that give me beauty. And last year, my word for the year was beauty. So I really focused on all the beauty around me. And I was amazed at, at how rewarding and satisfying it is in a small space. It's a 2012 Ford Transit Connect. XLT? Yes. So it's like the longer or taller? No, actually, one? it's the shortest one they do. This is the shortest one? Yeah. It looks like pretty tall um, well the height is great the height is great yeah because i can almost stand up in it so that means i can almost i can get dressed oh wow you know it's it's and um my needs i needed something that was really good in ga on gas and something that i could easily um fit into society and not look like I'm a van dweller. Right. For some reason that was very important, or is very that important. That stealth factor, right? Or at, yeah. least, at least be clean and kind right. of just blend right in. Right. That's why I put, I also, for safety reasons too, I don't want to be recognized. Mm -hmm. And so I don't put any um, st stickers, stickers or, or any anything like that on it so that people remember me. See that you got a roof fan up there. A yeah, vent. My, my brother actually did that for me on the toll and uh, we went and uh, you, you said how long were you doing this lifestyle well i have been doing it since um 2011. 2011. yes but this has got the battery oh i see yeah this is like your electronic and storage room a little inverter there right right so that i can um run the fan uh, when I don't have a hookup, mm. which I rarely do hook right. up at all. And there's my little um, awesome. one burner stove. Yeah, the there's gas my one. Kitchen. Those kitchen. are all my utensils. Here, my pans are right here. All your cooking supplies. Yes. And so this is total. My total kitchen mm -hmm. is right here. That's it. So last night I was. Um, laying in bed watching The Darkest Hour about Winston Churchill. And the rain sounded so wonderful, I uh, turned it off. It was around 9, 10. Let the rain put me to sleep. Yeah. I woke up at 3, watched the rest of the movie, and then went back to bed till 9. <laughs> what a night. Very nice. I'm also a thrifter, and uh -huh. my gifts to my friends were bouquets of flowers and so check this one out i just got Ooh. my friend loves blue very nice it's really an excuse to create the bouquet <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. so you get in on this side when you it's time yeah. to uh, and i would retire. probably not do it this way again i would do a bed across the back oh i see but this is the way we did it so that's that's it. Basically, the bed. I have a bookcase. Oh, yeah. I got some storage here. Yeah, a little yeah. shelf with the drawbridge. Yeah. That's cool. And then this is my Isis refrigerator, which is also where I sit, and my nightstand. And then um, this is my um, DVD player. 
It's a giant DVD player. Oh, oh right. Cool. It's like a, with the screen and yeah. everything. Yes. It's that my son, he keep it when they, when I burn them out, he just orders me another one. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then you got the, the fan right here to vent. Very and nice. That's a lifesaver. I bet. I yes. don't think I could do it if I didn't have the van. Yeah, yeah, same here. I need, like, it's a, an essential item. Yeah, it have is some essential. some sort of ve ventilation. And just for it being so hot. Yes. You know, when it gets hot, and if you can come in here and just pull it out. I just hang over the um, sunscreens fabrics that if I touch them, they're soft. Mm -hmm. And I like looking at them so I don't feel... Um, like you're deprived of any sort of luxury. Right, exactly. That's exactly it. So it's yeah. like I dream a genie. This is my bottle. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> now I really think I have a voice with the, for the homeless. Yeah. You know, like I can help homeless people because yeah. I've been through it, really. Um, but, you know, I was able to come out the other side in a positive way. Yeah. You know, because of my white privilege. You know, let's <laughs> yeah. call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. Traveled the United States, and I love to stay in, in lovely vintage motels. For income, the, the other part of this um, experience has been pet sitting. I pet sit. Pet sit, okay. And so I have homes um, that I pet sit in, and they're all lovely. So that supplements this. And in 2015, I got run over by a car and ended up coming to Orange County where my sister took care of me. And so then I landed in Orange County and um, started working with the arts ministry at, at Saddleback Church. And I've done arts ministry for the last 10 years, basically, yeah. living in this van, doing pet sitting, staying here, traveling. It, it's afforded me some wonderful experiences. I got to stay with my best friend for six months uh, after she had a, a brain operation, wow. which I would have never been able to do that. Yeah, if you had a typical nine to five, right. who's if, gonna let you go for six months? And, and also the residents. Yes. You know, how do you, how do you leave your residence? Right. And um, I just went to my cousin's funeral from Monterey, and no one else in the family could take five days and go and be with them. And so it, it, there are ups. You know, there are some real perks. It's hard. It's very difficult to get ready. I have to have, um, you know, I have it much more together, though, my wardrobe. Yeah. And actually, I think... Um, <laughs> yeah, I really will have a bespoke van wardrobe. And my goal is that I can be on the red carpet out of a van. Wow, <laughs> just put the, yeah, the red carpet right okay. here. Well, I want to be able to be dressed <laughs> uh -huh. appropriately out of a van, you know, so that I can fit in. Because as American women, we have too many clothes, and we don't need all that we have in order to be completely fashionable. And I go for quality over quantity, and then get your look down that is that flatters your figure, and go from there. And then you know, if you want to invest, buy jewels. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you say you like coming here when it's raining. Yes, my favorite time, and um, it's mo it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and the the nature is is fluorescent. Yeah, it's fluorescent. And what a I, great word! Yes, it. Um, and then if I have my easel and my chalks, then I really like to paint. Well, it's gorgeous here, and especially since it's been raining so much. Oh yeah, all of the trees, the shrubs, and bushes are really soaking it up. And I love the morning fires. The people who are up early making fires—it's just so nice. One thing in van life that everything takes longer. Yes. Like, whatever you're thinking of, it takes maybe twice as long because you got to move this to get this. And even uh, this gift here, she has to make provisions on where she's going to put that, oh. even something this small. Right. Like, and it's it's dumped out several times and, you know, and it's all looking ragged now. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been smushed a couple times. Yeah, so, you know, it's, but then it, you just... Accept it. The, the acceptance, I think, is is one of the greatest uh, experiences with van life. Is just learning how to accept life as it is, and also to enjoy the beauty 
This morning when I woke up, this tree trunk was completely green. It was beautiful. Oh, it's yeah. not green now. Yeah. You know? So right. it's like every moment, you know, meeting you and having this time together, what a, you know, how wonderful. Who, who would have thought? Right. You just randomly meet and right. this is what happens. I'm grateful every day. Well, what if uh, someone that's just getting into this lifestyle, what would you say or is interested in it? I would say, um, you know, just keep on learning who you are and, and what works for you and, and keep your priorities, um, you know, your love of life and your own spiritual story. I think that's imp very important to be spiritually connected in, in whatever way is good for you because that's what's gotten me through is my faith and and my love of life and in understanding other people and and not feeling sorry for myself and looking at the other guy i remember one morning feeling all sorry for myself and i pull into a subway and i look over and there's a man like thrashing in a sleeping bag right next to a garbage can you know so it's like whoa is my life not that bad like, <laughs> right it's like yeah, well, no matter what you're going through, you you know, the, the sun will come out again. Right, and, and in life, you don't get everything, you know? You don't get the freedom of van life, and and then also have, you know, if you, I mean, I live on $1,200 a month, so I don't get to have an apartment, too, right. on that. But I've, with the pet sitting, and the, I've been able to live, and, you know, Get my hair done. Yeah, and your toes done. <laughs> and my toes done. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, order Irish knits. From this is this is beautiful. From QVC, life. man. You know. Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> I pulled this out of my storage space for tonight. My martini Ooh, hat. Ooh, <laughs> very fancy. <laughs> and with my fur. Happy so. New Year's. So that with all black, and you know, I can be happening. That is amazing. <laughs> so what? I got to ask you again. I know you told me before, but so from here, you're going to be transitioning to part-time van life, right? Yes, yes. My How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, I feel really good about it. Um, it's taken a while to accept it, but my family just wouldn't take no for an answer. They wanted me to have a... It, it is aging. It, it, does, it is aging, mm -hmm. and it, it will be easier for me to... Um, exercise and have better nutrition with a base like that. And a full kitchen. Yes, and, yeah. yeah, I really need to do it. It's time. And so, and also it will be my studio home. So I will be able to really do more painting and the van will become more of a, an art studio. That's yeah. amazing to hear. I'm so happy for you to have two studios, one, uh, mo mo one mobile right here yes and so it'd be uh less stuff because you're not fully living in it and you could take this right. on weekends right. or extended trips right. and then you have a home base what a great way to to sort of end cap it yeah and my son also is an adventurer and um i actually think we it, it, it when it does the engine does burn out or whatever I, we might even just put a new engine in it yeah. and just keep it because now now i know how to do that you know what the upgrades would be or how to make it better and then just i love it because when i camp i can just be in this i can go to anybody's house stay too late not have to drive so right so this is a great um senior citizen adventuring vehicle <laughs> oh i'm so happy i met you randomly <laughs> really it was meant to be yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for showing us around, and uh, I love your story. Let's stay in touch. Yes, definitely. Yeah, Judith, thank you so much.